guitarist and he lives in Copenhagen. Simon German plays electric bass and he's from Ireland but he lives here in Brooklyn. And Kevin Brow, the drummer, lives in Copenhagen but he's from Toronto. You really get to sort of bond with people musically and extra musically when you're on the road. We're all completely ourselves all the time. Sometimes it'll be like a 70 person smoky club in Spain. Sometimes a larger club in Switzerland or Germany. It's, it's great to know that people can connect with my music and with our type of music in those different types of ways and with enthusiasm. This album is really about capturing a live concert that we did in Switzerland. It was the last date of a tour and was not the first tour we had done with most of this music either, so we've really played it a lot and we can really get off the written page and sort of put ourselves into the music and really push with it. I think it's impossible, I think, to capture that in a studio just because of the way a studio is set up. I think that's what's great about this album. the sound of a group in mind, I have a project in mind, I have a sound world in mind, I have something that I want to accomplish aesthetically and artistically in mind and I sort of go for that. And I also want to know what that thing feels like and use that feeling to kind of help complete the thought and complete the piece. Before the Transatlantic Quartet I was playing with Silent Z, which was a lot of sort of a mixture of electric and acoustic textures and lots of free improvisation within the context of my compositions and it was very open and kind of wild and it was really exciting that way. And the Unnamed Quartet was completely improvised music with cello and trumpet. Coming off of those two groups it was really important to me to move into a project that was sort of much more structured, I was sort of in more control of the compositional and musical elements when we would play live. Elliot's song is a song that was inspired by a friend of mine named Elliot Cardino. It's sort of supposed to express the hopeful optimism. It became kind of our theme song that we really look forward to playing. We like to open concerts with or sometimes close concerts with. It lets guys put their energy really into it. And it's also in 4-4 all the way through, which is unusual for me because of my nerdy compositional tendencies. There There starts off with a really beautiful solo by Simon, uh, working with loop pedals and effects and establishing really beautiful harmony and textures. Hoi Poloi sort of has this jumpy, intricate kind of melody and a bass line that goes along with it and they kind of trade off and jump around each other and it's full of energy and lets us kind of be real free. It's something that we can really dig into on the bandstand. What I want to get away from more than anything is predictability and uniformity, whether it's going from one project to the next, or going from one track on an album to the next, or going from one section within a piece to another section. Jazz sort of does and should occupy a niche sort of between art music, classical music, concert hall music, and pop music in the sort of broadest sense. What I try to do is have music have a lot of compositional and musical integrity and have it be deep on a number of levels and worthy of analysis, but also be sort of entertaining on a gut level and fun to listen to. Thank you. 